Hello everyone, Bacon Hair Animated here. And today, we'll find out how the monsters stole the medicine of power, and Huggy Wuggy fought with the hunters in the airplane. But before watching this episode, I recommend you check out the previous one. The link is in the description. Huggy Wuggy gave the witch a living girl. The witch sank her teeth into the girl and enjoyed her blood to her heart's content. <laughs> wow, thanks. Now I'll definitely go with you, huh? I'll be useful to you. I know many useful spells. Great, welcome. We're going to the laboratory for special medicine that will make us stronger, but we need blood to activate it. <laughs> a local watchman was just making a round of the cemetery. He immediately saw the monsters and the dead children. Oh no! Who could do such a thing? Villains! <laughs> but because the children were bitten by monsters, they also started turning into monsters and stood up. The watchman was frightened and speechless. He was about to call the police and took out the phone, but the monsters immediately attacked him. Of course, they didn't forget to drink all of his blood so that the medicine would definitely work. The commander of the hunters already knew from his subordinates that the monsters in the cemetery were rampaging with might and main. Without hesitation, he gave the order to his squad to gather for an operation to capture monsters. Okay. Mm -hmm. The hunters ran to equip themselves. They put on body armor and took weapons. Monsters at that time have already reached the laboratory and broken inside. But it was not so simple to reach the medicine. In one room, poison gas was pumped in on them. Uh -oh. It started crawling fast around the room. And then it was time for the witch to be useful for the team. I know a spell that helps to pass through the wall and she immediately conjured an exit through the wall. And the monsters successfully left the gas room. As a result, the monsters captured the medicine, drank it, and received incredible superpower and stamina. Huggy Wuggy punched the wall and it cracked. Then Huggy Wuggy laughed gleefully. In the meantime, the hunters were already following the monsters in the laboratory. Monsters from the laboratory rushed to the cemetery to hide in the dungeon. But the hunters were already running towards them and began to shoot at them from machine guns. Huggy Wuggy jumped and in an instant was near the hunters. He threw one of them into the wall so that he lost consciousness. A shy guy threw stones at the hunters, and the witch conjured a spell that lit the hunters on fire. Guest 666 had a gun with him. He immediately started shooting at the hunters. Monsters hid behind monuments and ended up killing half of the hunters. The hunters were forced to retreat because the forces were just not equal. Then the monsters returned to the crypt and hid in the dungeon. They began to hug each other with joy <laughs> that they had gotten the medicine and killed many hunters. The monsters won that fight. <laughs> In the end, the hunters gathered in their office to sort things out. 
Hmm. <sighs> Something is wrong. These monsters seem to have gotten stronger. We probably won't be able to beat them. <sighs> Stop panicking. Yes, they got stronger, but they didn't get brains out of it. So, we must not give up without a fight. They discussed some of their mistakes. And then the commander of the hunting squad stood up to sum everything up. We need to find the place where the monsters hid in the dungeon. They couldn't just disappear. Their underground lair is somewhere nearby. Near the place of the last battle, I feel it. Uh huh. And the best fighters, together with their commander, went with the armored car to the old cemetery to look for where the monsters fled. When they arrived at the cemetery, they saw large bloodstains near the crypt. Hmm. And found the entrance to the dungeon using these stains. Oh. They immediately called for help and began to descend into the dungeon. Oh. At that time, the monsters celebrated their victory. They took with them two wounded hunters from the cemetery, drank their blood, and laughed. <laughs> the tunnel hunters found their way to Huggy Wuggy's main room, but it was too late. The fighters from their unit were already dead, lying on the floor without blood. The hunters opened fire on the monsters with machine guns, but didn't hit anyone. And because of the shots, the lighting went out and it got dark. The monsters took advantage of this and rushed to escape. Through the underground tunnel, they got out in the airport warehouse and were able to hide in large luggage boxes. Yeah. Okay. After some time, loaders came up and took a large box of Huggy Wuggy to the luggage compartment of the plane on a forklift and loaded other monsters into another plane. When the hunters got out in the warehouse of the airport, they couldn't find anyone. They only saw the workers of the airport loading large boxes onto the plane. Then, the hunters calculated the actions of the monsters and entered the plane where there was a box with Huggy Wuggy. The hunters on the plane began to open all of the boxes. <laughs> oh, no. hmm? And Huggy Wuggy heard this and realized that he would soon be discovered. <gasps> so then he crawled out of the box and began to beat one hunter. But he was immediately <gasps> noticed by the commander of the hunters. Hey, hurry over here! The monster is here! I see him! Surround him! The hunters surrounded Huggy Wuggy, but then he saw a hatch in the ceiling and quickly climbed through it into the cabin. Since the hunters didn't have the opportunity to shoot at the monster so as not to make holes in the plane, they immediately climbed after it. In the cabin, Huggy Wuggy grabbed one guy and took him hostage. But the guy bit him and drank some of his blood, filled with the power of the medicine. The hostage suddenly became physically stronger than Huggy Wuggy and deftly escaped from the clutches of the monster. Huggy Wuggy got angry, broke through the porthole, and got out. Hunters began to try to pull the monster back into the plane but he deftly fought them off. All of this, of course, was seen by one of the passengers of the plane, and panic began. 
Then, the hunters, in order to get rid of the monster, began to push it out of the aircraft and eventually got him. <laughs> The hunters decided that from such a height, the monster must have finally died. They breathed a sigh of relief and reported it to the police. Yeah, I can hear you now. At that time, the monsters who managed to fly away on another plane hid in the airport of another city. Whoa. Ah. From the news, they learned that their monster friend died a terrible death in another plane. <gasps> No, it can't be the truth. These hunters killed another one of our friends, our leader. We will surely avenge him for this. <laughs>